All right, so today we will be talking about the area of rhombuses. My name is Matt. I'm Alex. And Zach is writing for us today. All right, so to get started, take out your green package right now. All right? That means you, Dustin. All right, so to define what a rhombus is, it is a quadrilateral with all four sides congruent. Write this down if you don't already have it. All right, it has two sets of parallel sides. All right, the diagonals form right angles at their intersection. And the opposite angles are congruent. Also, the diagonals bisect each other, and the diagonals bisect the vertices. All right, we have a rhombus up here. So, to find the area of the rhombus, you have to take one half of the product of the diagonals. Now, what this means is that you take the diagonals, you multiply them together, and then you can either multiply them by one half or divide them by two. This is theorem 6.25. Write this down. Stop talking. All right. So we have here another rhombus. Now we're going to get the diagonals written up here. And Alex is going to hit you up with a question, right? Get us up, dog. OK. If one Let's diagonal see. is 10 and the other is 12, what is the area? Raise your hand. Heather, stop talking to Jackie. Yes, you, in the corner. What's the answer? That's right. correct. The answer is? 60. All right. Let's see how we got it. So you multiply the diagonals together. So you, 10 times 2 is 120. Now you can either multiply that by 1 half or divide that by 2. Either way, you'll get the answer, 60. Great job. Mr. Palmer, you should give him a smart. All right. So, in conclusion, to sum this all up. All right. A quadrilateral is, well, a rhombus is a quadrilateral with all four sides congruent. Two sets of parallel sides. All right. The diagonals form right angles where they intersect. Opposite angles are congruent. The diagonals bisect each other. And the diagonals bisect the vertices. Also, the formula. Don't forget the formula, all right? One half D1, D2, all right? We're going to have another question from Alex. Okay. If one diagonal is 5 and the other is 6, what is the area? All right, so raise your hand if you can tell me the answer. All right, you, what is it? Correct, the answer is? 15. All right, let's find out how Brad got that. Wait, I have no idea how he got it. All right, so, so you take five times six, and you'll get 30. Then either multiply that by one half or divide that by two, and you'll get the answer 15. Thank you for your time, and now you know how to multiply and how to find the area of rhombuses. And yeah.